Caterpillars could save the planet from plastic trash. After years of trying to find a way to get rid of plastic waste, scientists may have finally found a solution, courtesy of a drab little bug. Wax moth caterpillars that typically eat beeswax in hives have been found to also be capable of degrading plastic. Polyethylene is one of the most commonly used plastics, with strong carbon-to-carbon -carbon bonds that render it resistant to degradation. However, wax worms are able to make holes in a polyethylene bag in just 40 minutes, eventually eating through most of it in just a few hours. Researchers suspect bacteria in the guts of the worms are responsible for digesting the plastic and breaking it down into ethylene glycol, an organic compound. Scientists want to study the chemical process that allows polyethylene to be degraded and may be adapted into a solution for managing the world's plastic waste. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Plastic may be useful, but it's also slowly killing the planet. New report says plastic will outweigh fish in the oceans by 2050. By 2050, plastic rubbish in the oceans will outweigh fish, according to a new report by the Ellen MacArthur Foundation released at the World Economic Forum in Davos this week. The United States, Europe, and Asia together account for 85% of plastics production, roughly split between the US and Europe on one side and Asia on the other. Some 95% of plastic packaging produced each year is lost to the economy after a single use. Out of all the plastic produced every year, only 5% is recycled effectively. Around 40% is buried in landfills, and about 32% reaches the oceans. This corresponds to dumping the contents of one garbage truck into the ocean every minute. The production of plastic, which now stands at around 311 million tons a year, is expected to quadruple by 2050. This will bring the ratio of plastic to fish in the ocean, calculated according to weight, from 1 to 5 to more than 1 to 1. The report urges people to take action and to rethink the way we use and recycle plastic. It also suggests that manufacturers help reduce plastic waste by producing not only plastic that is reusable but also compostable plastics, a new generation of plastics that are biodegradable through composting. The Pacific Ocean is full of plastic waste. Initial results from the first aerial survey of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch suggest that ocean pollution is worse than we thought. The Ocean Cleanup Foundation is conducting a series of aerial surveys over an area of plastic accumulation in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and California. Flying at low altitude and low speed, the survey uses LiDAR technology to analyze the density and frequency of plastic ocean debris, recording the presence of debris larger than half a meter by one and a half meters. The crew found more than a thousand pieces of plastic during a two and a half hour test flight. The survey also aims to document discarded fishing nets known as ghost nets, which are difficult to detect and can ensnare marine life. Researchers from the Great Ocean Cleanup said understanding the scope of the problem would help future efforts to remove trash from the Pacific. 500 sea lions dead, possibly after eating tons of plastic. Some 500 dead sea lions were discovered decomposing on a beach 250 miles north of the Peruvian capital, Lima, possibly after ingesting massive amounts of plastic, polluting the waters. The North Pacific Gyre, one of the world's largest ocean gyres, is often referred to as the Pacific Trash Vortex due to the high concentrations of floating plastic debris. Due to rotational currents, trash is captured from across the Pacific Ocean, including the coastal waters off North America and Japan and then is gradually moved towards the North Pacific Gyre Center where it becomes trapped. The Pacific Trash Vortex is estimated to be around 2,200 kilometers long and 800 kilometers wide, almost three times the size of Spain and Portugal combined. The vortex is made up of some hundred million tons of plastic, including large objects or disintegrated objects and particles. About half of them float atop the ocean surface, while the remaining heavier half can be found in the water columns below it or along the bottom of the ocean. The United Nations Environment Program estimates that worldwide, each square mile of ocean water contains 46,000 pieces of garbage. Plastic does not biodegrade, meaning it does not break down into natural elements. Rather, it photogrades, gradually splitting into small, tiny particles. When small enough, it can be ingested by aquatic organisms and therefore is able to enter the food chain. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Study could explain why seabirds eat ocean plastic. 
The corruption of a natural process that directs seabirds toward food is tricking the animals into eating plastic floating in the ocean. When krill eat algae, the plants emit a sulfurous compound called dimethyl sulfide, which has a strong smell. The smell gives a chemical signal to seabirds about where they can find their prey. Plastic floating in the ocean accumulates organic matter, including dimethyl sulfide. According to researchers, the plastic then emits an odor that entices seabirds to eat it. Five trillion pieces of plastic are reportedly littering the world's oceans, weighing a total of 250,000 tons. More than 200 species of marine life have been found to eat plastic, including birds, fish, turtles, and mammals. According to the projections of another recent study, 99% of all seabird species will have eaten plastic by 2050. Instead of eating plankton, young fish are now eating plastic. About 8 million tons of plastic are leaked into the ocean annually, and its impact on the fragile underwater ecosystem has scientists worried. A new study has found that young fish are eating microplastic like junk food, and it's killing them. Microplastic particles result from the fragmentation of large plastic waste, or from tiny manufactured plastic like microbeads in cosmetic products. Measuring less than 5 millimeters, the particles flow through waterways and into the ocean, accumulating in shallow coastal areas. Larval perch that normally feed on plankton have been found to be actively choosing the microplastic as food. This has resulted in their stunted growth and sudden disregard for the smell of predators. The ability to respond to the smell of predators and flee is typically innate in young fish. When placed in tanks with their natural predator, perch that ate plastic were preyed upon four times faster than those that did not. All were dead within 48 hours. Scientists warn that the harmful effects of plastic is not limited to fish and may be felt throughout the food chain. The study is an important step in understanding the silent threat that plastic wastes poses on marine creatures. A U.S. ban on microbeads in body care products will take effect from July 2017, with pressure building for other countries to follow suit.